Old Time Radio DVD's Big Sale Event. From September the 1st to December the 31st, 2018, I will be making all of our collections available. That's all of them. If you've ever wanted to own one of these collections and you put it off, don't put it off any longer. I will never be able to offer these again. The collections are perfect gifts for family and friends. Go to oldtimeradiodvd.com today and place your order. Don't wait. Please allow up to two weeks for delivery. Share this information with everyone you know. The fantastic deal of a lifetime to own one of these marvelous collections. Go to oldtimeradiodvd.com today and place your order. You'll be glad you did. Ginger Ales present a series of programs to advertise the new made-to-order Canada Dry, which you can now buy by the glass at drug stores and soda fountains. This series will feature George Olson and his music, Miss Ethel Chute, the star of many Broadway successes, and that suave comedian, dry humorist, and famous master of ceremonies, Jack Benny. Uh, thank you, Mr. Thorgerson. That's pretty good from a man who doesn't even know me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack Benny talking and making my first appearance on the air professionally. By that I mean I'm finally getting paid, which, of course, will be a great relief to my creditors. I, uh, I really don't know why I'm here. I'm supposed to be a sort of a master of ceremonies and tell you all the things that will happen, which would happen anyway. I must introduce the different artists who could easily introduce themselves and also talk about the Canada Dry made to order by the glass, which is a waste of time, as you know all about it. You drink it like it and don't want to hear about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, a master of ceremonies is really a fellow who is unemployed and gets paid for it. I think you will like the entertainment arranged for tonight, I hope. Of course, I haven't seen any of the program myself, but I've spoken to the artists individually. They seem to think it's awfully good. The uh, first number will be a selection by George Olson and his orchestra. I think this uh, being our first program together... It is no more than fair that I have you meet Mr. Olson personally. He is really a very charming fellow and one of the few directors who comes to and from his work on roller skates. That's perhaps the silliest thing that I'll say all night, I think. I, um, I might add that Mr. Olson is very, very handsome. I told you, George, I'd get that in. Uh, but as long as we are both on the air, of course, I won't have to worry about that. Oh, George, uh, come here. I want you to say hello to the folks. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, that was George Olson, ladies and gentlemen. He uh, rehearsed that speech all week. You know, uh, this is really all play with George. He doesn't have to work at all. I might say that uh, Mr. Olson is one of the wealthiest conductors in America. You know what I mean. He owns his own car. Of course, the other boys are in debt, too. Uh, George, uh, what kind of a car have you? A Saxon. A what? A Saxon. A Saxon, huh? Well, that was my fault for bringing it up at all. Uh, uh, is it a new one? Is it? Oh, yes. A very late model. I see. Well, you must have been in this country a long time now, haven't you, George? <laughs> yes. Yeah, say, by the way, Jack, what kind of a car have you? Me? I have a bicycle built for two. I mean, now, you can't go back any further than that, have it? Well, George, I think we ought to get started. What's the first number? I beg your pardon, mademoiselle. It's a French number, Jack. Do you like French numbers? Do I? Mon duck, mon duck. <laughs> Get together, mademoiselle. 
you know I love you. But if you're probably blue, I beg your pardon, important directing that orchestra, you know, with the baton in your hand. I don't know, there's something about all you fellas when you stand there waving that stick in the air. It's thrilling, you know. One thing I'd like to know, George, if the band didn't show up, what would you do with that stick? Why, I'd throw it away and do what you're doing. <laughs> Always kidding. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I present a young lady who is a star of many New York productions, Miss Ethel Chate. Uh, you will remember Miss Chate best in Whoopi playing opposite Eddie Cantor. Is it all right for me to mention Cantor's name here? Everybody else does. Uh, Ethel, come over and say hello. Oh, hello. Wasn't that clever? Oh, she does a lot of things like that. You'd be surprised. And Miss Chute is going to sing for us. She has a beautiful voice, too. She has a sort of a nervous soprano. You know what I mean? She, in fact, last week she had her nose lifted so she could be heard in Philadelphia. <laughs> And, uh, oh, by the way, here's a little news for you might interest you. Mr. Tay is really Mr. George Olson. Although I wouldn't go as far as to say that that's the reason she happens to be on this program. Nevertheless, she's Mrs. George Olson. Such a nice girl, too. I'm surprised that she's married to Olson. And now uh, Mr. Tay will sing, uh, I Found a Million Dollar Baby. I still feel a little frenzy tonight, Ethel, so it's mon duck to you, too. Baby, in 
That was I Love a Parade, ladies and gentlemen. The kind of a number that grips and thrills you, gives you that great feeling of patriotism, and makes you glad that you're an American. Personally, it didn't bother me very much because I took a nap while the boys were playing at it. And uh, now, folks, in case you've forgotten, this is Jack Benny again. You know, the Canada Dry Humorist. Hey, I thought that was good. The Canada Dry Humorist. I made that up myself, huh? It sounds like it. Uh, that witty retort was by George Olson, ladies and gentlemen, proving again that he is still an orchestra leader. At that, uh, George has a great sense of humor. So he told me a, st- a story the other day. Do you mind if I tell it, George? I'll give you credit for it, you know. It's really supposed to be true, too. It's about George's uncle, who had been ill for a long time. He had what you call labor poisoning. You know what I mean? He just would, couldn't stand working. So his doctor finally told him that he would have to get a lot of fresh air, do outside work, but not lift anything heavy. He told him that at no time would he to lift anything heavy. So his uncle got a job as a garbage man in Scotland. Funny, I... Well, you know, I never heard that one before, but the thing that kills me is Olsen telling a Scott story. I mean, because George, you know, is no senseless himself. In fact, he invited me to dinner the other night, much to his own surprise. And he paid the check with a $5 bill that was in his pocket so long that Lincoln's eyes were bloodshot. <laughs> That's a fact. Uh, however, he will now favor us with that very popular song hit called Paradise. After all, why should his orchestra be an, an exception? <laughs> And the drums. 
Now, the trumpets play loud and shrill, but when they get going, they'll give you a thrill. And the violin and the drum. The old trombone flies up and down. When he gets hot, he goes to town. And the trumpets, the violin, and the drum. When you want to shiver, a quiver, or a groan, we call upon the boys with the saxophone. And the trombone, and the trumpet, and the violin, and the drum. Please, please, now, when you want some rhythm, where do we go? Why, it's old Bob Wright to his old banjo. And the saxophone, and the trombone, the trumpet, the violin, and the drum. Oh, the cow is now a little birdie. All right. Now, the next old fella can't be beat. You know him well. It's Piccolo Pete. And the banjo, and the saxophone, the trombone, the trumpet, the violin, and the drum. Okay, Ben Bernie, if you like it. That's it. Now we have the piano for cadences and such. All he needs is a very light touch. And the piccolo, and the banjo, and the saxophone, and the trombone, and the trumpet, and the violin, and the drum. So are you, so are you. Now the old bass fiddle plays way down low. He has to get a derrick to move his bow. And the piano, and the piccolo, and the banjo, and the saxophone, and the trombone, the trumpet, the violin, and the drum. Hey, please. Bass, piano, piccolo, banjo, saxophone, trombone, trumpet, violin. Now that's how we make you. That was cute, George. I mean, babies will like it anyway. <laughs> and, um, uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the way these boys make music. Now, if they could only play it. Uh, Mr. Olson will now play Come West, Little Girl, Come West. And I'm supposed to sing a chorus of this number. And do you know, folks, that six months ago, I couldn't sing a note. Really, I could not sing a note. But after taking three glasses every day of Canada Dry made-to-order ginger ale, I still am unable to sing and can't even sign a note. So the moral of this is drink that champagne of ginger ale, Canada Dry, and don't worry about signing notes. So for want of a better soloist, Miss Chute will sing, Come West, little girl, come west. I'm going east. <laughs> To hear a cowboy sing like a cowboy sings when he's blue. Round the campfire on the range when his early work is through. If I could hear a certain love song, what memories it would bring. I can't forget that love song the cowboys used to sing. The sun will set, the moon will rise, but I wanna look in my baby eyes. Come west, little girl, come west. The breeze will blow, the stars will peep, but I'm too lonesome to go to sleep. Come west, little girl, come west. But I'm left best in my baby's arms Come west, little girl Come west The sun will set, the moon will rise But I can't look with my baby's eyes Come west, little girl Oh, my love. 
Hello, everybody. This is Kate Smith, or uh, Jack Benny, talking. You see how nervous I am? I mean, not so much because I'm broadcasting, but I think all my relatives are listening in, and I don't want them to know that I'm working. Uh, although I have uh, I have an older brother that I'm quite fond of. I mean, we get along great. We sort of share everything together. I mean, what's mine is his, and what's his is his, you know. I... Uh, although I, this has absolutely nothing to do with Canada Dry Made Order, I keep getting entirely off the subject. But don't forget, folks, that you can walk into your neighborhood drugstore, or any drugstore. I mean, after all, I don't care what drugstore you walk into. I'm just the master of ceremony here, that's all. I mean, if I'm going to have to worry about things like that, you know, I'll have my hands full. But go into any drugstore and order a glass, mind you. Not a bottle, but a glass of made-to-order Canada Dry Ginger Ale and stagger out. It was funny, the things you can buy today in a drugstore. I went in for an aspirin the other day and came out with a new hat. I, I, I imagine the uh, next number will be by George Olson. He's about to make his first appearance on this program. In fact, I'm lucky to get in here at all. Uh, this is called Drums in My Heart. And boys, try and finish this all together if you can. Here, please. <laughs> Get back to the lady on the train, boy. 